Hello everyone. Today we are going to practice graphing a linear equation. However, sometimes the equation is not given in slope-intercept form. So we are going to take this given equation and change it into y equals mx plus b form and then graph it. To accomplish this, we have to isolate the y variable to get it into y equals mx plus b form. So let's start by taking this positive 1 and doing the opposite, which is to subtract 1 on both sides. That will cancel it on the left-hand side of our equation, leaving us with 3 times y is equal to 2x plus 9. The next step is to try to isolate the y by getting rid of this 3. Because y and 3 are being multiplied, we do the opposite, which is to divide by 3 instead of multiplying by 3. So we are going to divide this side by itself, and anything divided by itself is 1, and so we have exactly 1y remaining. Now every term on the right has to be divided by 3. So 2x must be divided by 3, and 9 must also be divided by 3. Well, 2 thirds is already a simplified fraction, so we're going to leave that as 2 thirds x plus 9 divided by 3, which is 3. And this is an equation which is in slope-intercept format, so now we can easily graph our equation. So going to our Cartesian coordinate plane, I'm going to locate the y-intercept first, which is positive 3. So we're going to start from the origin and go up on the y-axis, 1, 2, 3, and make a point. And from that point, we are going to look at our slope, which has a rise of 2 and a run of 3. So I am going to go up 1, 2, and over 1, 2, 3, and then I'm going to make a point. After you have two points that that line passes through, you can simply take a ruler or a straight edge, connect those two points together, and make a straight line. And we're going to draw an arrow on either end because this line goes on for eternity. And this is a line which represents the original equation that we had. But before we graph that line, we had to get it into slope-intercept format first in order to make the graphing easy to do.